Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys returning, for those of you guys that are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Pinky. We're going to be looking into the monthly reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of October 2022. How are you doing Libra? I hope you are as excited and ecstatic as I am. As you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, the favorite time of the year is finally here. This is... Uh, basically the busiest season for all of us so uh for those of you guys that are interested in personal consultation spell work anything like that hit the description box below you'll be able to find our online store there to be able to get your readings um because we're gonna get very very busy you guys so just putting it out there all right let's get into it let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of october 2022 libra Let's see what is unfolding for you. I am so excited. This is like my favorite time of the year. I'm curious if you guys um, celebrate the holidays, if you guys celebrate especially Hallow's Eve. If you do, definitely comment below. Let me know what is it that uh, you guys do. What is your traditions, if any? Um, I'm definitely curious. All right, let's get into it. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages here for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October 2022? Give me four cards to represent Earth, Air, Fire, and Water for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Libra. First card here representing your Earth energy. You have the King of Pentacles. Uh, definitely an increase in your finances for this month. This could come as... Uh, side jobs it can also represent if you've been really putting work and energy effort towards your business career or the job that you're currently working at do not be surprised probably that time of the year where you get a raise or an opportunity to step up to a higher position so right now what they're telling me is you're dominating where you're at so whatever it is that you're doing um, take a little bit more of initiative uh, pick up a little bit more of your pace and you're definitely going to be noticed not only that but you will be uh, recompensated so uh, definitely positive energy here I see your finances stabilizing greatly uh, for this month now in regards to communication element of air we have the eight of swords so there is a bit of stagnation in your communication you may be feeling a bit antsy a bit um, very much in your head we will see why in a minute element of fire here we have the knight of cups so for some of you guys you may be uh you may be experiencing some type of challenge in regards to expressing your emotions now for some of you guys especially those of you guys that are dealing with earth energy taurus capricorn virgo or water energy scorpio pisces cancer there could have been a situation that um created a, a bit of stagnation a bit of and I feel for a lot of you guys, this could be misunderstandings. Now, it doesn't have to be relationship-wise. This could be with family, friends, or even colleagues at work. However, I do see that uh, communication starts to progress or starts to get a bit better by the end of October. Uh, so just be mindful of that. Try the best you can not to take things so personal, Libra. If you have a friend, a family member, someone that's trying to give you advice, and it almost seems like it's like a backhanded compliment or like they are judging you harshly try the best you can to take a step back don't take it personal analyze the advice that they're giving you because i feel like it's not coming from a bad place but because you are taking it personal i feel like your pride or ego may get hurt in the process um and then you become a bit more distant or more cold and it's unnecessary because i feel like what they're trying to express is just not coming through the way they would have hoped it came through so if you're dealing with a situation with the partner or relationship where communication is just off it almost seems like you guys can't get on the same page or um like there is almost this like i don't know how to explain it it almost seems like whatever it is that you say comes out wrong or whatever your partner says comes out wrong or it's taken like i said personal um then you start to hold grudge so again don't take things personal for this month of October, Libra. Now, in regards to oof, emotions, we have the three of swords. So I'm going to be honest. What I'm seeing here for a lot of you guys is because we are going to be experiencing Saturn going direct, this could also, as well as Mercury, 
could be the reason why there is a lot of I feel like you're experiencing a bit of hostility Libra and I feel like it has more to do with feeling like you're going on a path that you've already been there I've already been there I've already done that I'm not going to allow myself to get hurt again but these are fears that are from the past so what they're telling you is when I say don't take it personal I literally mean don't take it personal don't feel like everyone is out to get you don't feel like everyone's out to hurt you Libra in relationships specifically we have to learn to trust if you haven't been able to heal from the past or you haven't been able to uh, spend some time on your own and you go from one relationship to another, you're carrying that baggage and it will inevitably affect your relationship. So again, try the best to really analyze, is it something that your partner is making you feel or is it more to do with your mind playing tricks on you, Libra? All right, let's see what your final message is here for the month of October 2020. 22 spirit what is the final message for libra in regards to this situation all right here we go and we have door to personal healing and happiness that's exactly what i was sensing when i seen the three of swords i feel like the three of swords is not something that you may be dealing with now i feel like this has a lot to do with past experiences or past relationships heal from this libra and like i said if you feel um, like there is something that triggers you and your partner, a behavior or something that they do that triggers you, that makes you go back to the feeling of what you felt when you got hurt in the past. Is this something that is, like I said, that you're carrying into this relationship or is it something that they've given you reason to mistrust? That's what you really need to analyze and again, try the best you can uh, to heal, to let go of the past in order to be able to embrace where you're at right now in the present and the unfolding future. All right, my lovelies. All right. I wish you guys the very best and we will see each other soon. Till then, bye-bye.